Hey, welcome to the channel. Today we're gonna to see how much a lightweight silencer like this sled shed affects the weight distribution side to side of the sled compared to the big factory silencer. I put a board here that's the same thickness as the scale. I tried using two different scales, but I got readings that were all over the place. There we go. The hood back on. Zero the scale here. Zero. 129 129.8. 132.2. 130.0. 128.8. Hear the gas sloshing around. So I'm getting slightly different readings from that too. 129.8. There, right, take the scale out. This is the board. You see I'm using a board that's the same height as the scale, just so it's not leaning one side or the other. Scale. So now we got the scale on the exhaust side. Again, this is with the stock exhaust. And let's see what we get. 137.6, so we'll move it back a bit. It's more centered. 6.4, back more, 134, there we go, 137.6, 136.4, 138.8, straighten the scale out a bit, 137.6, that should be good. Now we're gonna put the lightweight silencer back in and see if we get a difference. Check out this leather XLT coat. I'm gonna have to bust that out soon. Okay, let's take this can out, put the lightweight one back in. Okay, lightweight can back in. Okay, put the lightweight can back in. I left the sled exactly where it was. Let's see what the scale says now. This is the exhaust side, let's wake it up. Zero. 34.8, so let's see if I can get the lowest measurement possible and the highest. 5.8, back a little further, 134.2, 137.0, and 137.0. Okay, we'll swap it around and measure the clutch side again. Notice the clutch side is lower than the exhaust side. I tried another bathroom scale too and I was getting a different reading, so that's why I'm sticking to one scale but no matter what I did, the clutch side is lighter than the exhaust side. Zero. 130.6. This is with the lightweight can. We're gonna go back a bit. Let's see if I can get it higher. 129.2. 127.8. There. 127.8. Zero. 129.2. And 27.4. So here's all the results. Starting with the stock muffler on the clutch side, we had an average of 130 pounds. And on the exhaust side, we had an average of 136.9 pounds. We put in the lightweight sled shed muffler. And on the clutch side, we had an average of 129 pounds, about a pound less. And on the exhaust side, we had an average of 135.7 pounds again about a pound less. The sled shed muffler is much lighter than the stock muffler. I did a weight comparison in a previous video. You can see that here. You don't really see the savings much on the skis as the track is actually taking quite a bit of that weight savings as well. So after using a couple different scales and going back and forth, measuring each side as much as I could, the clutch side is definitely lighter than the exhaust side. So the question was, if I swap out the heavy stock silencer for lightweight silencer, will that make the right side lighter than the left side and affect the weight distribution? Turns out that the right side is already heavier than the left side. So going to a lightweight silencer is gonna improve the weight distribution. The right side will be closer to the left. It'll still be heavier, but it'll be better. Other benefits, they sound better, and quite often you can put a muff pot on it, or like with me, I have the sled shed, which has a cooker built into it. 
check out that video up here. Thing's awesome, I highly recommend it. Hey, give this video a like if you found that useful. Don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. There you go. That look good.